All right, y'all. So we have another story of a potential what would have been a tragedy that was ultimately stopped at a Christian school, a private Christi a Christian college in Minnesota. Now, the headline of this article reads that a Minnesota college student was charged after they found a whole bunch of ammo and other things that could, you know, harm people in the dorm. Now, I don't know if this is just me because now that I'm a Christian, I'm starting to see things differently. I'm starting to see evil for what it is. But I was having a conversation last night and this is this is unrelated, but at the same time, it's related to the story that I'm going to talk about. I was having a conversation last night because I, I, I started to watch this show on Hulu and it, it, it's about this case that happened in California. I think it was like eight years ago. And essentially, without giving you all the details, there was this individual who was a biological male who identified as a female. And this biological male, who very much looked like a female, after, you know, makeup and hair and wigs and clothes and all that kind of stuff, was hooking up with this group of guys. And they had no idea that he was a he. And when they found out that he was a he, they were so upset that they actually took this person's life. And this could go in so many different directions as far as what is right and what is wrong and all that kind of stuff. But the one thing that I kept thinking when I was watching this documentary on Hulu just the other night, was it so insane to me how some people choose to deal with whatever is going on in their life, whatever they perceive to be a problem. In this situation, these, these dudes who were hooking up with this biological male who they thought was a female, they had so much anger and rage and pride and shame within them because they thought that they were gay or whatever. I don't know, whatever they thought. But they took all that out and they took somebody's life as if that was the solution. And so when I look at a story like this one right here, I can't help but think of the state of this country. It's completely upside down. What is good is now evil, and what is evil is now good. It's completely upside down. Not only that, but we have a generation that is growing up and is going through middle school, is going through high school, is entering into college, and these are still children in my book because their brain is still developing. But we have all of these children growing up in this upside down country. On top of that, they want nothing to do with God, the true God, the true God of the Bible. They want nothing to do with him. And I think that's a recipe for disaster. That's a recipe that's gonna cause a lot of these people to make unimaginable mistakes that will result in unthinkable tragedies. And we've already seen it happen with some of the stuff that's been going on. So now we look at this story, right? It says a student at a, at a private Minnesota college has been hit with a slew of charges after they found a bunch of ammo, knives, tactical vests, and even a, a hand-drawn map of a site on campus and chilling instructions, chilling instructions to basically carry out a massacre on campus. Now, this is a Christian campus or a Christian school, according to their websites, according to, to their beliefs. It says that we create, and this is uh, their mission and practice. It says we create opportunities for academic and personal reflection on religious beliefs, including reasoned consideration of Christian faith 
and other traditions that engage questions of truth and meaning. So this is where this all took place at, at a, a, a Christian university. It says that Kurtz, who is this individual right here, so this individual right here was charged with felony conspiracy and terrorist threats. It says he was a let he he I believe it's a he. I believe I'm not trying to be funny. I'm really not trying to be funny, but I believe it's a he. Uh, I let's just go with he. The article says he. Let's go with that. <laughs> You know, I don't know. Um, it says he was arrested last Thursday after a custodian at the college tipped off authorities after finding two empty packages belonging to the sophomore for high capacity magazines in a, in a garbage can outside of the dorm rooms. So a custodian is taking out the trash, finds high capacity magazines in the garbage can and immediately lets the authorities know. If it wasn't for that custodian, based on the information that I'm seeing, this probably would have been a very, very dark situation. It says when police searched his room or Kurtz's room on campus, they found a tactical vest, empty box, empty boxes of ammo and magazines, a bunch of other stuff to inflict pain, six propane canisters, fireworks, lighter fluids, firearm, firearm earmuffs, folding knives, uh, a battery with wires and lockpick sets and charging documents stated. I mean, the charging documents stated. Jeez. Cops also confiscated, uh, confiscated notebooks with writings that included a highly detailed plot to steal ammunition from a Walmart, police radio frequencies, and, and a hand-drawn map of a recreational facility on campus. So yeah, this is the individual. This is the campus. It says the map included an arrow indicating a travel route, an apparent exit path, the charges, the charges said. In addition to the items found in Kurt's room and vehicle, a criminal complaint said a search of his phone showed he texted someone about buying guns from unlicensed sellers. Kurtz also texted photos of a, of a box filled with rifle magazines resting on a campus bench and the words, Kids got no idea what's in here. Ha ha. Notes found in Kurt's vehicles allegedly said combat is much faster and closer than you think. And the average door takes 2.5 kicks, according to the complaint. A notebook taken from the car contained training directions for where to shoot a person on their body. That's crazy. One shot to the T-box equals death instantly, the author of the notes wrote, using a slang term for the point where the, per where the person's nose meets their forehead to form a T-shape. Another section of the notebook titled Things to be Good At stated, shoot a person in three areas, upper, T-zone, and pelvis is a good target. Yeah, uh, you you can't tell me that this was not going to be a situation that was going to end very, very badly. Thank God for the janitor to step in and act swiftly and, and report what he saw, because otherwise this would have been a very horrible situation. And I can't help but think, what is going on? What is going on? especially with these Christian schools that, we, that we've been seeing recently, like, what is going on? I don't know. I don't know. It seems like we're in store for something. And as I said yesterday, don't lose hope. 
Because the Bible already told us that all of this was going to happen. Many trials and, and many sorrows. Just as Christ went through trials and sorrows, so will we. And we're seeing that more and more every single day. So, yeah, thank God for the janitor. Otherwise, this would have been a very bad situation. Get in my comments. Let me know what you think. Like this video. Subscribe if you have not already. I really appreciate your time and your attention. I feel like I just did a presentation. I really appreciate your time and attention. All right, y'all. I'm out.